there's essentially every year there's a design field trip that Eurohackold organizes, and it takes uh, young engineers and consultants, and it goes with our collaborators, such as uh, Allies and Morrison, uh, uh, Hen Architects, and we go and we explore a key theme uh, in an area that we kind of decide is important to explore. Um, and so it's a really good opportunity to explore these emerging challenges. And this year, what we were looking at was um, sort of ideas around sharing and uh, sharing economy. So, you know, we've all seen the kind of how cities generally tend to function in this linear approach um, and how we need to move towards more of a circular economy. Um, and I think some of this had, you know, we touched a lot on the, the London recipe. So if you haven't looked at it, it's a very, very interesting document. And it talks about the systems versus empathy um, and how you can kind of split up different um, developments or areas into these uh, sort of into that matrix um, with the refugee camps being an example of a low system, low empathy, and, um, you know, these new ideas of sharing cities being high systems, high empathy. Um, and I guess, you know, we were thinking the sharing economy is one of the you know, largest uh, growing um, sort of industries and it hasn't yet disrupted the built environment very much. So we had these big questions that we were going to then try and answer. So, you know, what is it that people want to share? Um, what are the benefits of sharing and how as designers or built environment professionals can we kind of facilitate this? Uh, so then that takes us on to the Berlin workshop. Um, and so just there in the corner, that's us in the Spreefeld uh, co-op housing. So that's a, a kind of this, this thing they call Baugruppen. Um, and it's a new model for, or relatively new model of uh, housing where a cooperative come together and they are raising the funds and they sort of um, are bringing that development forward and they are going to be the ones who live there. Um, and you know, that's actually us in that space. It's a very nice space. Uh, they hosted us there uh, and we started to workshop and look at you know, the questions that I've already said. What do we want to share? What don't we want to share? And we started to classify these into sort of different areas. Um, and then some of those ended up going on to uh, our design script, which I'll come, come on to in a bit. So um, yeah, we went around uh, different areas of Berlin um, and I'll come on to the touring, that picture of the bench there um, a bit later, but that's in Tempelhofer and Tempelhofer Field. Um, and you know, there was this discussion that we were having about some people didn't like the bench, some people did like the bench. And at first, it doesn't seem important, but you know, it's a very big field and it's fairly, fairly empty, and the community have taken almost control of it. And there were these questions of, you know, this person is obviously enjoying a rest there. Should there be toilets as well? Maybe, you know, then people start to talk about a cafe and then people start to talk about, oh no, now our independence is going and they're taking control of it. Uh, somebody else is taking control of it. And then we started to talk about, you know, we started to um, ideate different ideas, these big uh, blue sky thinking um, ideas onto how to incorporate it. Um, and that's just one of the examples there, you know, how can childcare and um, old age care be mixed together? Um, for, for communal benefit. Um, and then Allies and Morrison hosted the follow-up workshop in London and we just started to kind of bring it down from a blue sky thinking level to a master plan sort of scale. Um, and, you know, we discussed some of the feedback from Berlin and we started to talk about, let's try and take it this further. Let's, um, let's you know, look at some of the, the more grounding issues in, on a, a master plan scale. And they took us uh, through their ideas on different types. So um, we, we looked at the curated master plan, which is King's Cross, and how uh, you know, a big area of central London has, 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 um, has changed in a relatively short amount of time. And then Bankside and South Bank and how that has evolved over time in a more organic way. And we really tr started to ask these questions about um, I think it, it, it kind of came about from both the King's Cross and the South Bank, these stranded assets, and people talk about them, you know, if there's this big city block that's going to be redeveloped, who, who really should that belong to? You know, what, why, why does the community not get more of a say? Um, and when these areas are redeveloped, why is it that a lot of people don't feel a sense of belonging in there? Um, and so that's where this, this question um, of who is going to control this paradigm shift and 
you know, is it going to be a case of taking control without taking advantage? That's that's what that's essentially what we really need, um, and trying to learn lessons from the sharing economy. Um, so, on to today's event. We've got um, an amazing panel. So, you know, very broad range of uh, companies and experiences. Uh, so just briefly, we've got Leo uh, Boscherini from Makeshift. So um, as some of the key themes, uh, he's you know very passionate about our public spaces, community ownership, and inclusive regeneration. And you know, lots more information in his bio and his um, his presentation just coming. Um, we've got Georgie uh, Seller from Olio. Uh, so you know, key themes here: sharing resources, using technology and um, community connections. Um, and Scott Barnes from Space Hive, talking about different funding mechanisms, uh, technology and community empowerment. Uh, Kirstina Colleen Hansen from Space 10, um, and she'll be talking about the affordability, affordability, livability, and sustainability, almost mm -hmm. nexus. Um, and then we've got Jake from Lendlease, who will be talking about space, belonging, um, and health and well-being sort of uh, attached from his experience in the loneliness lab. And then finally, you know, what are we really trying to get out of this? So um, we have a, a design sprint pack, you know, is it, uh, and these are open questions to the audience, uh, you know, are we going to be adapting these and, and, and sending them out for people to run with? Um, uh, and then almost we've got the Boston City Smart, uh, Boston Smart City Playbook, are we trying to as built environment practitioners, should we be trying to develop a uh, sharing city playbook that we can pitch to our um, clients or our, you know, whether it's developers or local councils? Um, there's also this little book of sharing in a city by Lancaster University, also a great read. Um, and then any other ideas? You know, we are looking for ideas of collaboration. Uh, so whether it's creating new platforms or you know, sharing city steering group.